A big week ahead in FX. First up, why Saxo's John Hardy expects to see another dollar rally. There's two reasons. The, the main one being that I think the market is very complacent on the, uh, on the FOMC after that last policy statement, which I felt was more hawkish in underlying terms than the market read it. And we still have a mismatch in terms of market expectations versus what the FOMC itself has been saying. Which leads me to believe that the data this week is particularly important, the incoming data and whether that surprises to the upside. I think sort of flat numbers to slightly weak numbers might already be priced in, and it's especially positive surprises that would have a considerable impact uh, on, on the dollar this week. Now, of course, that does leave us with some downside risk. I just think it's skewed towards the upside risks, given how the market is assessing uh, the FOMC. And will it, won't it? The Reserve Bank of Australia meets on Tuesday and yet again there's talk of a rate cut. Regardless of whether they actually cut or not, I, I'm quite convinced they're going to come out very dovish. They've been wanting to talk this Australian exchange rate down. They're getting what they want. Why would they want to stand in the way? But, so there is maybe risk that they don't cut, but even if we do see a backup in the Australian dollar and a squeeze on short positions, I think the dovishness, the likely dovishness of the statement and the background very weak factors in the Australian economy, commodity prices, what have you, uh, are going to mean a, a weaker Aussie uh, going forward from here. So I do lean on, on them actually cutting rates, but if they don't, I'm still happy to sell the Aussie on any sort of uh, a squeeze towards that very key 80 level, uh, which was a, a big break recently. Turning to the Swiss franc, and is the SMB up to something? Now, there was a newspaper article with some SNB sources supposedly over the weekend saying that they're actually targeting a 105 to 110 range in Euroswiss. Given how much we've seen Euroswiss rallying, the fact that Eurodollar is just flat and seems to be uninterested in, in sort of participating much in a rally uh, suggests to me there's a lot of dollar Swiss buying as well and that the Euro dollar unit there could actually be weaker than, than what we're seeing on the chart uh, once maybe some of this uh, Euroswiss buying uh, from this, this type of story uh, exhausts itself. So I'm, I'm still leaning to the downside. On, on euro dollars, there's some you know, important European data coming out this week, but the, but the market already knows what the ECB is going to do, so this, this data has less impact when you sort of know the forward path uh, of the central bank. Meanwhile, markets are watching the continuing war of words between Greece and the ECB. So what is the impact? So far, the market is treating Greece as a contained phenomenon. We're not seeing this spread, at least in, in market uh, terms, to EU peripheral debt, et cetera, Portugal, Spain, et cetera, where the spreads actually continue to come in, uh, come in lower. So definitely we need to watch this. There are tremendous uh, theoretical financial stability risks out there from the Greek situation. But so far, while it's very interesting, we should all have our attention on it, it, it appears contained.